Hi Capricorn, happy birthday to you. Love is coming for you. At least that's what I think. So that's before I pull the cards, though I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Personally, I think my moon sign resonates the best in readings, but you can go with what you want. There's a link to find out your moon, your Venus, your rising, your sun, your Mercury, your everything in the description box below. This is also if you're spying on a Capricorn because you're interested in them or you, whatever reason you would spy on them. Okay. So here we go. What do you want in regards to love in January, Capricorn? That's interesting. Huh. So what you want to do is be really emotionally clear and figure out what it is that you cherish the most, be super in touch with your feelings. But then at the same time, you're kind of lying to yourself and, feeling, and saying, like, I don't actually want love. Now, why the hell would you do that? What's the fear there? Why is that something you're convincing yourself of? Um, and they say, because you don't feel like you're up for challenges that come along with welcoming love into your life. And it's not about releasing the past. You've done a lot of that. I think it might, I think a lot of signs actually had this. Maybe it was Pisces and who was the other one? Um, something about like trying to work them into your day-to-day -day life balance. I think it could have been Scorpio. So um, perhaps that's how it is. Maybe you took on new goals for the new year, maybe some New Year's resolutions. I know a Capricorn who recently started taking an online class, and so it would just be like, where are you going to find the time? But what they say is get excited about welcoming new things into your life including love because this could be a very passionate adventure um, for you if you're open to it that could totally come through for you so are you ready for love in january of 2018 and they say um for those of you who have just gone through a divorce then we haven't really decided that yeah but for the rest of you they say if you can be brutally honest about you know, the vibe that you're putting out there, if you can be really real with yourself, I think that you are. You don't have an unrealistic expectation of what love means or what a relationship would look like for you. Okay, so what are the subconscious energies that are going to come up for you to work through that will affect your love life in January? And they say this um, energy of honesty and being forthcoming and communication. They say it's been an energy that's been lingering for you for a little while. It's something that you've definitely wanted in a partner. So if you're coupled, this is also about wanting um, to have a really good, open, and honest relationship. They're saying that um, the lessons that we're learning through this energy are not near um, being done or over with. And if that's something you're trying to manifest in a new partner, that's something you definitely want to keep putting out to the universe that you're trying to draw in. Now, what they say is that the challenge here in this lesson is to be non-judgmental. <laughs> You know, so when you're getting to meet somebody, when you're getting to know somebody, it doesn't mean that they're not an open and honest person if they're not telling you things right away. It's just that they have to develop a sense of trust with you first. That kind of a thing. Don't be hasty to make judgments, okay? What are your current blocks in regards to love in January? And whoa. then how do we get past them? So good news is it looks like you're already starting to work past them based on the energies that already exist in your life. Um, what it's saying is that the current blocks might be in relation to your work life, your routines, your money, that sort of a thing. So that would be a different kind of reading that we'd want to do to really examine and hone in on what those are so that we can work through those um, specifically. I would personally recommend that you do a private reading with me or somebody else that you trust uh, to work through those blockages because our day-to-day -day life and our stressors in regards to money and um, routines can kind of affect the way that we are in our relationships, but then also can 
affect the way our ability to manifest somebody or to draw them in to our life in the areas of love, especially for you guys this month when there's this energy of like, oh, I don't know that I could just really balance a relationship because they're saying it's possible as long as you get rid of that blockage. So um, what they're saying is you don't necessarily feel like you are in the best position in regards to those kind of elements of your life, the earthy energies. And so um, they say, you know, you're in this mode of like, let's take action. The moon is in Capricorn is in Saturn or something like that. Somebody said, which does kind of facilitate you making goals, achieving them, being focused on all these kind of earth energies. So everything is happening right now for a reason. Everything is aligned the way it's supposed to be. Um, but you do have a little bit of a blockage like that you couldn't do both. Does that make sense? So the way that you work through that is um, to really think about how it would be a burden to have love in your life because that's not the case. Um, you need to stop telling yourself that you don't want it this minute. They, they say like in regards to really feeling your feelings and really examining those, you don't need to think about the practical aspects of it. You just need to think about and focus on how you want to feel. And then the universe will, you know, give you what you want in a very balanced and healthy way. They say expressing gratitude is going to be a good way to do that as well. You know, you're doing a good job of focusing on the positives of every aspect. And I think that's a part of the problem. Um, focusing on the positives is the best thing to do, right? But when when you're telling yourself, hey, um, I'm really proud of myself that I'm getting all of these things done, that I'm creating these new routines, that I'm making more money, that I'm achieving this, that I'm achieving that, that's great to pat yourself on the back, but you're also using it as an excuse to not be open to receive love. Does that make sense? So congratulations, Capricorn, on all of these awesome things that you're doing but you're also ready and worthy of love at this time. You, you got this. You could handle it. Okay. So how can you ready your heart for love in the month of January? Um, exactly what we just talked about. The same exact concept. How are you going to ready your mind for love? And they say, um, <laughs> Oh boy, I want to get one more here. Okay, so the way that you ready your mind is to um, take this idea of like, I don't have things exactly the way that I want them to be yet, but I'm working towards it, to take that idea and not give up on it, but to also be excited for love. Because... It, I think a lot of Capricorns right now are doing this where it's like typically you'd be excited to welcome this into your life, but you're kind of just putting this vibe out like, mm, no, I, well, I'm not going to get it anyway. So that kind of thing, you know, so then focusing on the positive things that you are getting, does that make sense? You're, you're only creating a big wall up in front of you from being able to receive the love that is trying to come through. Does that make sense? Okay. How do you ready your spirit for love? And this is the Line Strider Tarot, by the way, because I know sometimes you guys want to know what deck I'm using. Um, so how you're going to ready your spirit for love is to break apart that way of thinking, to kind of let everything just fall apart, fall away, any patterns that we have that are not serving us, <laughs> um, and then face the challenge with enthusiasm and passion. Like, that would be a good problem to have, trying to work, you know, an awesome new partner into your new lifestyle. Okay, what is the positive thing that you can do this month in order to help you find a partner or to increase the love you have with your existing partner? <laughs> so this is funny. I love when spirit does this because what they say is, well, if you're not open to receive it, that's going to be a challenge. Fucking nothing. It's going to be really hard for you. <laughs> They're like, 
let these blockages fall away, let them crumble. That's what you have to do. So your reading is kind of like straight to the point, a little bit redundant with the message, but because it's the message you needed to hear. So I wish you the best of luck and ease in letting go of those ideas. We are going to switch gears here and use a different deck in order to get some positive affirmations to kind of help you with this energy. So the theme is prayer. So um, there's different kinds of prayer, okay? Sometimes we're praying and we are asking for things. Sometimes we're praying and expressing gratitude. Maybe we're doing both. Um, but the point of prayer in general is kind of that surrender, right? It's like, um, understanding that something is bigger and greater than ourselves. So it doesn't matter how you pray. Some people don't pray at all. Like some people, um, their connection to spirit is meditation or running or something. Um, but however you connect to spirit, that's going to be important for you. And as you do that, these are some affirmations you can say to yourself to help bring that love in. I embrace humility. I admit my faults and mistakes. I would add to that, I ask for assistance in fixing them. May I be granted absolution from the wrongs that I have inflicted on others. So I'm going to forgive myself. May those people who I, um, for whom I pray be granted health and happiness. And I would uh, pray for health, happiness, and for love in my own life. So I hope that finds, um, I, hope, I hope that helps you find what you're looking for in this month and uh, love and light. Oh, as I'm gonna hang up here, the video is at 11 minutes and 33 seconds. 11 is about um, being on the right path and 33 is a very divine number and it's saying, it's spirit saying, look, we're right here. So 11 being about wishes and what you want, basically your spirit guides are saying, ask us. Ask us for help in getting what you want because we are right here waiting to answer your prayers. Okay, bye.